The NFL says 7,500 health care workers will be given free tickets to this year's Super Bowl in Tampa, Florida. Frontline employees who have been vaccinated receiving the gift as a thank you for all their hard work during the coronavirus pandemic. They'll be in attendance along with about 14,500 other fans. Most of those given the free tickets are from the Tampa Bay area as well as Central Florida. A super rare Michael Jordan signed basketball card just sold for over $1.4 million at auction. That smashes the previous record price for an MJ card by over 500 k and the piece is a 1997 Upper Deck Game Jersey Michael Jordan card, one of only 23 ever made. The card is numbered 8 out of 23, but more importantly, it features a clear signature and a piece of the actual jersey MJ wore during the legendary 1992 NBA All-Star Game. The previous record price for Jordan card was 915 k also auctioned off by Heritage a few months back. The newest models of both made some upgrades for Nissan while still keeping in line with previous model designs. The Frontier midsize pickup truck, a bit longer overall than the outgoing model, comes in four different trims, S, SV, Pro 4X, and Pro X. Each car is equipped with an 8-inch touchscreen or larger, according to the version. Uh, the Pathfinder SUV has been given similar upgrades, and Nissan has unveiled 10 new cars in the last 20 months. These two models are the final vehicles in their product release. Both cars are set to go on sale this summer. The city of Chicago is quadrupling the number of public safety cameras in its 19th ward. The move comes as the city is grappling with a rising crime rate, including a 135% increase in carjackings. The camera program has been running since 2003 in areas of Chicago that see the highest rates of violent crime. Mount Etna continues to light up the night sky over Italy. Etna on the island of Sicily erupting into a spectacular orange glow show. The powerful explosion sent lava rocks flying into the air overnight and hot lava streaming down the slopes. Europe's most active volcano erupted several times on Thursday night through Friday morning, and the ongoing volcanic activity, the area has been secured. There were no reported injuries or deaths. Edna is the largest of Italy's three active volcanoes and a popular tourist destination. There you go, five things to know before you go to bed.